Hello crafty friends. Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me. My name is Melissa Miller. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Southern California and I appreciate you spending some of your time with me today. Today I thought we would talk about our kits collection. Now I know I mentioned in my last video that um, I would be showing you a project out of our new mini catalog for the holidays, but I had the opportunity to film this today, so I thought we would do this real quick. We will be looking at our kits catalog, our kits collection. So on page nine of your annual catalog, it briefly talks about our kits collection, but there are no photos and no descriptions. So you need to go online to um, my store and you can find those. I'll put a link below this video. We have two kinds of kits. There are stamping kits and there are non-stamping kits. In our stamping kits, you receive everything you need. You'll get an acrylic block, you'll get a stampin' spot, you get the stamp set, all your envelopes, all your embellishments, all your adhesives, everything that you could possibly need. So right now we've got six stamping kits in the store and they are um, mostly previously released paper pumpkin kits. So it's really nice that we have access to these again. And then for our non-stamping kits, you also get everything you need, but you do not get the acrylic block or the stamp set because there is no stamping required. All of these sentiments are already pre-printed for you. So all you have to do is put these together and you get still everything you need. You get your envelopes, your card base, the sentiments, the adhesive, everything that you need. And so right now we have four of the uh, non-stamping kits in the online store. And today we are going to be taking a look at one of the non-stamping kits. So in our box here, we've got everything we need. Let's get this out and dig right in. We've got our glue dots. We've got our sequins. Looks like they're uh, kind of iridescent. And then we've got our dimensionals. So for this card, we've got our three card bases. You get to make nine cards. So that actually totals less than $1.34 per card with your envelopes. So you get uh, three card bases here. With, we've got the blue lined envelopes and our uh, layering piece we're going to put on there. For this butterfly card, you get your envelope and the card base. And then for these three cards, you get your card base and your layering piece and your envelopes. We've got the lined envelopes again with the little butterflies on there. And then we've got all our sentiments. Now this is a non-stamping kit, so they've also made this in other languages. So we're just going to take out our English because we speak English here. I know we've got French and German and I'm not sure what the other language is on here. So we're just going to be making one of each today. Get one of these out. I just wanted to show you how quick and simple these are. And these kits are fantastic. If you don't have time to sit down and make, you know, a whole set of cards, or even sometimes just one card can take as much as an hour or more, these are your go-to kits. So we get three of the A Little Note of Cheer sentiment, three of the Butterfly with You Make Life Brighter, and then three of the rainbow uh, butterflies that say, you're on my mind. So let's go ahead and get started. I think we're going to do the little note of cheer first. So we've got one card base. Let's go ahead and get our layering piece out here. And it's nice that they come in this little uh, cellophane bag. That way they don't uh, get bent up or anything. So let's fold our card base get that creased really well and what we're going to do here is we're just going to take some of our glue dots and I'm just going to put one on each corner and they fit in there perfect. They knew what they were doing when they made these and again these are just simple cards but they still give you you know quite an impact and you're still sending someone a handmade card. I think these are just designed 
for people on the go. Okay, so now that we've got those glue dots off, we're just going to center this on there. Get that laid down. Hopefully it's centered. You know what? That's kind of crooked. There goes my crooked eye again. Let's just peel that up. Peel that corner up. And get that a little bit better there. There we go. I think I like that better. Yeah, that's a little straighter. There we go. Just one more. Bring that down just a little bit more. And because we just stuck this on there, it will come up. But once the glue has a chance to set, it won't come back up again. You know, I'm going to do the whole thing. I am going to bring in my tea ruler. Just because, like I said, I do have somewhat of a crooked eye. So we're just going to get that nice and straight there. Bring this back in. And that's good. Okay, that's a lot better. And we have to add our sentiment. We have a little note of cheer. Take this out of our punch out. And we're going to add some dimensionals on this one. You know what, I think we actually need quite a few. I'm gonna put five because this is a much longer sentiment than we usually put on there. So we're going to add our sentiment, but not take those off yet because we have another little one that we're gonna put underneath. And this little one, I think we're gonna put right there. We're gonna use our glue dots on this one. And then go ahead and get those release papers off. And these are super simple kits. And that's why they're made. They're made for when you don't have a whole lot of time, but you still want to send a nice card. All right. We've got that one. Now we can take the release paper off our dimensionals. off to the side and then just kind of straighten this on there all right that looks good and there we have it already all assembled now we need to just add some of our gems let's go ahead and get these out of here and it's nice, you get a whole sheet, and you're not gonna use this whole sheet, so you'll have these left over for other projects. We always get extras. Now, they've got them scattered all over, so we're just gonna kinda just add a little bit of sparkle on here. Everybody needs sparkle. And there you go, one card is done. Isn't that beautiful? I just love that. A little note of cheer. I am here for you today and always. And you get your envelope. Now what I do when I store these, I keep them in my box of cards already done. I just take my envelope like that, put it in my box, and then I've already got the envelope handy when I need a card to mail to somebody. So let's move on to our next one. Let's do the butterfly. I really like this one. This is a different shape. And it's rainbow, it's very colorful. And on this envelope, we have the pink. It looks like they're kind of little mini butterflies, actually. So we've got our envelope. We've got our card. We're going to take the You Make Life Brighter. So it kind of hangs over. So we have to make sure that when we put our dimensionals on here, we do not have them hang over. We don't have them go on the, off the edge. So let's put, I'm going to say... Let's do four, just for fun. That way we know it's really gonna be popped up. Get our release papers off. And these are great for taking on the go. You know, a lot of people have kids in sports and they have to go to the games and they can just sit there on the sidelines and make these cards. So we're going to add our sentiment, 
Perfect. We did not hang over the edges, so that's good. And now we just need to add our little rhinestones. I think I'm going to put a bigger one on here. Again, they're kind of just scattered all over. Let's put another big one down here. And then a couple small ones. And you can put these anywhere. Perfect. Card number two, already done. And we'll just put that aside. And we'll move on to our next one. The next one is our butterflies. We get one sheet of cut out butterflies. You get your card base and your envelope. We get the green envelope this time and it has the butterflies on the lining, which is really nice. And they're scalloped. These envelopes are scalloped. So that just gives it a little bit more personality. Get our card base scored. And we are going to just add this right in the middle. You know, I can't tell. I don't think this, you know what, this is raised. They do have this up on dimensionals. So let's get some dimensionals on here. We're going to make sure we cover it pretty well because we don't want it to sag anywhere. And we have plenty. They give us a whole sheet for this kit. So we're just going to add those around the important places, around the edge, and then where the butterflies are cut out. We're going to put those around that so they uh, don't sag. Nobody wants a sagged card. Okay, that should be good. We've got quite a few on here, so let's get those all off of there. And hopefully I can get it on straight. I mean, my crooked eye gets me quite often. Get those back hangs off. They're not really tricky. They're just hard to get your fingernail under there sometimes. So we've got quite a few on here. So it's taking a little bit longer. There we go. Let's just center that. Hopefully I don't get my head in there. I'm trying not to. Put that on there, and that's beautiful. You can see the shadow underneath. Because we put the dimensionals underneath, you can see the shadows, and that's great for the rainbow color. So now we'll add our, I'm just gonna, our other sentiment, but it has little punch outs. So we're just gonna take our tool here and punch those pieces out so we get a little bit more dimension when we add this to the card base. That one's kind of tricky. Stuck. There we go. Now we're going to put a couple more dimensionals behind here. I think three is plenty. One on each side and one in the middle. Get those release papers off. And put that down in the left hand corner they have it. You're on my mind. That's just beautiful. I like that. And then we're going to add our gems. Let's see, in the picture they've got five. Let's do five. We're going to add a couple big ones. There are two sizes on this sheet here. We've got larger and then we've got the smaller ones. So we've got three four and five. Now that was so quick and see we still have this whole sheet left over for other projects. So we have our three cards but you actually get nine in this kit. We're just doing three for demonstration purposes. You have three of the butterfly here, the card layering base, and then you have three of the large butterfly with your sentiment. And then you have three of the rainbow, a little note of cheer. Those are just beautiful. So I'll put the link below in my on, for my online store so you can check out all our other kits. And next time we will definitely be doing a project out of the new catalog. Thank you so much for joining me today. Until next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.